What's up everyone, it's your boy Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Talk Shaka Team video for you guys. So I've been messing around with the new mythic right here, Talk Shaka. And um, I think that I found a decent troop for a decent team for this troop right here. All right, so on this team, Takshaka is going to be at the top of the team, right? Dealing its true damage to an enemy and then to a random enemy as well. Then creating that blue and green gem combo on the board. 20 gems, 10 of each color. Then um, it's going to be here for the skull damage reduction as well, the 30%. As well as for that wild... Um, Rainbow scales, I should say, creating that wild card when my turn begins. Now, the troop I think pairs well with this is the Sea Troll. This this troop right here is from Darkstone. It's an elemental giant with a um, with a 12 mana cost. It uses green and purple mana. The spell is Drown, right? It will double the number of blue gems on the board, then create three more. So you see where it works here. The troop takes in green mana and puts out more blue gems on the board, which is perfect for Tuck. Takshaka, because Takshaka is going to be taking in all of those blue gems. The Ruby Macaque is going to be on this team as well. I think it pairs well. Why? Because Ruby Macaque uses blue mana and other colors, um, which is red and brown. And um, it feeds off the excess mana that's going to Takshaka. So it's, it's pretty nice. And along with that, it's going to be the backup damage dealer on this team. So just in case Takshaka does not get a loop, or something happens horribly in the fight and I lose Takshaka, Ruby Macaque is going to bring it home for the team. The class here that I've been finding to be the best possible class for this team is the Death Knight class, simply because of the Blue Storm, which is the Ice Storm in the Talents, right? It will create a Ice Storm and start a battle. And along with that, um, it has the ability to steal some amount of life as well, and it has Lightning Strike, which is very good. I'm going to be exploding a Yellow Gem every single time I match a 4 or 5 gem match. Leprechaun is going to be here for the fast mana on the team. Uh, I was trying to name this team um, Take Macaque Troll, but man, the, the game wasn't having it, right? So I had to go with Tak Mac Troll right here for the team. Um, uh, if somebody can figure out how I, can, how I can get that name into this section right here, I would love it, man. Take my cock troll sounds like a really good name for this team. If you agree with me, drop in the comment section. Let me know what you think. All right, so the banner on this team right here is going to be the Trident banner from the Merlantis Kingdom. It's a plus two on blue. We're plusing one on green. Then we're minusing yellow. Takshaka is not really going to be feeding that much off of yellow, so yeah. You know how it is. All right. I don't think there's any bonuses that stand out here. No. So let's, this is battle number one right here in Golvania. Let's see how this team goes, man. I've been trying it out. It works well. Let's see if I can make it happen on video with you guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking. That's some good RNG for once, man. Let's double the amount of gems on the board. Got my Takshaka powered up. Takshaka got my my um, my C troll powered up again. There we go. Let's cast a troll once more. Yeah, and that was a lot of board control. There we go. So this one is, is much more like my speed, man. Complete board control, pretty fast, um, and competent for an Explore 12 team. Of course, you can use this in PvP as well. PvP is a great place right now for, for using different teams. So if you have it, use it. All right, let's go. Leprechaun. Let's cast my Tak. Very good. Enemy's going to be matching 4 plus gem matches here out of hoo-ha. There we go. We got Tuck Shocker Power back up. Got it again. Picked up a kill. Perfection. Let's double the amount of gems on the board. Nice. Good. Good. That one started off sort of wonky, but it still worked out, man. Let's see here. Let's see. If you guys like this team as well, drop in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this team. I think it's a great team for the troop, and Takshaka is ready to go, man. Like it. Let's cast it. Then we get the troll, and as I said, in these areas now, I could cast my Ruby Macaque, but if I get the troll powered up, I'm going to be casting the troll instead. Uh, Takshaka again is killing. Takshaka? Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, it's it's a full loop. It's a full loop. It's not the most, most perfect loop, because no troop has, like, an extra turn, um, like, in its spell or anything, but it's a, it's a great option for, um, for make it happen off of the board, right? For making it happen off the board. Um, let's see if I can double. Yeah, that's 13. That's definitely going to work. 
And I like the fact that I don't have to target down a particular gem color by, you know, matching it on the board. I just cast the troop, and the troop does the matching for me. Um, that's why I haven't used it with troops like Sycorax and the like, right? Because with Sycorax, I have to then touch the board and pick which color I want to... I want to double up on the board. But with the sea troll, you just cast the troll. You know, you already know what you're going to be doubling. And that's going to be the blue gems on the board. We got the troll again. Can I get it? Oh, we got Takshaka. Let's cast that first. Now the troll. There we go. 18 gems were on the board there. Nice. Got Takshaka. Yeah, I got the troll first. There we go. Uh, take that. Take that. There we go. Let's cast it again. This should be a kill, right? Boom! And that's a good thing. This troop, because it's targeting one enemy and then another random enemy, if only one enemy is left on, um, on the enemy team, it's going gonna, it's gonna to one-shot them because it's going to double-tap that troop in that instance, you know, which is very good. It's good to see that that troop has that mechanic um, here. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, let's go. Explosions from Leprechaun. And let's see if I can... Oh, we got the troll baby off the jump. <laughs> I like this one, man. This is solid. We got the troll again. They're going to get a couple 4 plus gem matches here. Then they're going to steal some mana from me. But it's fine. I'll still double the gems. I'll still double them. Picked up one more kill. And as you can see, Ruben McCack is available. But let's cast it. See if he can get everyone's spell ready. He did. That's why we have the Ruben McCack on the team. As a backup option, it is solid. Picked up a kill, doubled the gems. There we go. And killed them off of the skull damage. Not bad. All right, where are we now? Oh, that was the mythic boss fight. That was fast. Let's see what we got inside the chest, baby. Come on. Uh, nothing good, but I'll still take that Arania, though. But yeah, guys, that is the team right there. This is a more thought over processed team right here. And it came out well. Took Shaka on the team, uh, dealing the true damage, and then damage again to another enemy. Followed by the Sea Troll, followed by the Ruby Macaque as a backup option, not the central focus here, just a backup. And then Leprechaun at the back of the team for fast mana. And you guys know I always like going fast right here. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and informative. If you did, remember to smash the like button. Comment and let me know what you guys think. And I'll be down there chatting with you guys. Alright guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.